I was in prison over in Thailand for one year. Um, I'd started out on a vacation for one month. At the end of my holiday in Bangkok Airport, I ended up arrested. Um, and from there on in, I served one year in prison. You're isolated and you're living in your own head almost 24 hours, seven days a week. It's just a confined space as well. You've got nowhere to kind of just sit and be on your own for even five minutes, just the tiniest of space. There's so many people in there, yet you feel so isolated, you know? What was really heartwarming was that a lot of prisoners write into prisoners abroad, and prisoners abroad produce these wonderful newsletters. And I remember reading that first newsletter that I received, and reading the letter about other people who are in the same sort of position as me that was in prison, and I was kind of like, whoa, I didn't feel on my own anymore, you know. That's when you kind of felt like a little community, you know. You kind of thought, yeah, as it goes, I'm not on my own. There's others. They know where I am. I'm not forgotten. I lived in America since 1999. My family emigrated over there from the UK. I am British. I was um, arrested in June of 2007, and I was ultimately charged with felony possession of a firearm, which is a federal crime. So I served almost nine years on the sentence. All the work that the different caseworkers do and all the staff at Prisoners Abroad is, you know, really encouraging and it's also inspiring that I would like to be someone like them helping other people because it can be very difficult. I can't imagine myself or other people coming back and not having any support or not having the level of support that we've received, it would be very difficult. And I can understand how a lot of people fall back into whatever patterns of behavior led them into prison in the first place, which is a disaster. You know, when you're in prison, you learn to have a barrier up. You know, you try and close everyone else out and you're protecting yourself from potential harm or, or you know, anything, anything negative. So being in an environment that's more like a family and a, and a community, it allows you to be human again and uh, be accepted for just being you on trying to you know, get on the right path and, and trying to rebuild your life, which is absolutely essential. My daughter was working out in Ibiza, which she did every summer. She met up with somebody and she got into a bad situation and she was arrested with him. My youngest daughter, she, she went on Google because we were trying to, you know, find where we could find out information. And then we, that's where she found the Prisoners Abroad websites. That enabled me to be able to go out there and visit her for a whole two hours and have, you know, the physical contact, the hugs and the, you know, proper time, private, in a private room was absolutely the best thing ever really in my eyes because it, would, it wouldn't have been possible at all without the, the help of Prisoners Abroad, without us, that funding. You know, Prisoners Abroad, they're not judging you, they're not judging the person that's in prison. That could be anybody's son or daughter, could get into a predicament when they're abroad. They are entitled to their human rights as much as anybody else.